Hey everyone and welcome to part 60. Every part begins the same by force feeding a sea bass. And we are on a hunt for a certain egghead in a certain restaurant, in a certain city, in a certain game. Obviously, Digitumpon. Is he here? No, it's Tyrannomon. So I managed to get Digitarmum on to show, and he did boost all of my stats, which was very handy because we managed to go from two and a half thousand and two hundred and fifty to just until just under ten thousand and just under one thousand. So we've got the so we've got basically brilliant stats and when we digivolve to Sukumon next we're still going to have decent stats. No point having full power since our stats are maximised. Full power is not going to make an improvement. Instead we'll have Meltdown. Hard to interrupt, powerful, attacks every enemy. And obviously Power Crane and Delete Program will stay. For the same reasons as before. You'll notice, um, obviously, I um, did a lot of edits with the whole Digitumamon thing. But obviously I kept in the important parts, such as me feeding Metal Greymon sea basses, giving him a medicine, giving him a portable potty, which was a boneheaded move because we now want care mistakes and it was stupid of me to give him a portable potty because it stopped a care mistake. Um, I think I got into a habit of um, obviously where I had a brief moment where I didn't want care mistakes from Mega Seedramon, I got into a bit of a habit of avoiding them and then I kind of hadn't broke out of the habit and I gave Metal Greymon a portable potty which is a bit stupid but seeing as I had Digitarmon show I didn't want to you know like 
I didn't want to cancel just because of that. Obviously, I rested um, because um, with the sea basses, I'm not going to fade away until the next hour now. And I thought, well, might as well make the most of it and enter the tournament on the last hour that I can, come out of the tournament later, be closer to sleeping and hopefully see it through with as few sea bass as possible. I'm either against Guromon or Gardra. System. Obviously, had I entered the tournament immediately or had I entered with the tournament when I did, either way I would have needed a sea bass as soon as I came out, but by entering later, I come out later, and the sea bass will see me through until later and hopefully take me through to when I need to sleep. I'm against Goromon. I forgot to refill my HP and MP, but it doesn't matter with the stats I've got. I can't see myself failing. I think I'll do Meltdown to Paralyze and then Delete Program to try and flatten. And it's me who's flattened. I'm selecting defensive because I'm not 100%. Okay, I'm going to do meltdown while he's flattened. Well, if he's paralyzed, I'll do um, delete program. If he's flattened, I'll do meltdown. Always try and get the other state status damage. Um, yeah, the reason why I went to defensive is because I wasn't sure if he was going to be flattened or not. And if he is flattened, then I don't want to attack immediately because then the attack will probably miss while he's going into the flat state. So instead I do go to defensive, don't do anything, then attack when I know it will hit. Don't want to waste an attack, don't want to waste MP. And Gardramon stops me from going against my own Digimon. Megadramon stops me from going against two Goromons in one battle. Talk about party poopers. Oh, in return, all I can do is spank their ass. And that is hopefully what I'm going to do. I stayed with Mount down there because it was only one hit from death. switched off for a brief moment and let that happen. I wasn't concentrating there, that was silly of me. Oh, let's fight. Well, 
Dow is weaker than the lead program. Yeah, it's doing considerably more damage consistently. You can only imagine that fire is better against machine than machine. Because normally types are weak against their own type, aren't they? So you can only imagine machine isn't as good against machine as fire is against machine. Finished him off otherwise. And he has he managed to get a finish. Okay. This is only time wasted. Obviously I this battle was won a very long time ago. I believe the prize is Cyber Parts that makes you Digivolve to Andromon. Another item to sit in the item bank and collect dust. sense with the stats that I've got. Don't need a sea bass, so I'll give him a sirloin. Now, obviously I um, want care mistakes, and the lower my discipline is, the quicker they're going to happen. So I might want to do what I did before, and repeatedly praise until discipline goes to the minimum. The only downside is that Mega Seedramon was a Digimon who declined sea basses at his own free will. And obviously, the lower the discipline, the greater the chance of a decline. Now, Mega Seedramon could be exclusive, and he could be the only one, or there could be others. Metal Greymon could be an other. But I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm blurring his discipline in the interest of him having care mistakes quicker. And I'm hoping that he isn't a Digimon who will sometimes decline sea basses. Because if he does, then you can guarantee that he'll decline a sea bass immediately after a tournament and then fade away. Mega Seedramon is the only one so far, so I'm hoping it is just exclusive to him. Obviously, when I wake up, I'll, I'll be able to figure it out because I'll offer him a sea bass. And if he accepts it, then we should be fine. Obviously, if there is a problem, then I'll have to boost his discipline. And to do that, I'll just have to offer him small recoveries and then scold him when he declines them. I should quickly get the discipline back up to a respectable level. Yeah, 
Yeah, accepted. So happiness at the maximum, virtually discipline at the minimum. I suppose he is what you would call a spoiled brat. So, um, yeah, with Digitalmon, uh, is there a pattern? Because there's times when I've, with like practice and stuff, I've gone to him and he's boosted half of my stats. I've then gone to him either with the same Digimon or with a different Digimon, and on both occasions he's again only boosted half of my stats, so he's done it twice in succession. And there's been times when it's changed and it would be half of them one time and then all of them the next time and the other way around. And there's also been times when he's boosted all of my stats, um, like twice in succession, be it I come back with the same Digimon or a different Digimon. And people have, meant, have said the same. People have said they've had the same. Because initially I was told that if you speak to him, he'll boost half your stats, return we have, I can't remember if it's the same Digimon or a different Digimon, but return and then he boosts all of them, but then I've had experiences that have backed that up and I've had experiences that have done the opposite and so too have other people, so I really am baffled, I just don't know what the situation is, I don't know if it's completely random or if there is some sort of pattern to it because the only different between when I when I did it this time and when I tried and failed a Mega Seedramon is with Mega Seedramon the day was an odd number and with Metal Greymon the day was an even number 27, 28 I don't know if that's got something to do with it I don't know if the different Digimon has something to do with it I just haven't got a clue waiting for the next hour Ninjamon. Few meltdowns should see this over very quickly. I believe Ninja Mon has Earth as his first nature, which is vulnerable to fire. Wasn't that threatening? I lost one HP. Uh, 
sir, that one HP that I lost, it must be so lonely. Almost as lonely as Digitarmamon's brain cell. Yeah, he is a stupid egghead. Right, actually, that doesn't make sense, because an egghead's an intelligent person, isn't it? Okay, now that does not make sense. How can you be a stupid egghead? It's like... Stupid is stupid, egghead is smart. So that's basically a stupid egghead. That's basically saying a stupid smart person. Okay, that was a mess up on my behalf. That didn't make any sense. There's no way you can be a stupid egghead. You can't be a stupid dumb person. Any more than you can be a fat skinny person, or a short tall person, or a white black person. This makes no sense. But nonetheless, he's a stupid egghead. Even though he has saved me <laughs> quite a lot of times with learning Infinity Burn when I had him boosting my stats like there's no tomorrow. Or as long as he's been in the restaurant. And neither of us get a finish. Let's hope this turns out to be an exciting battle. Please flatten, please flatten. Good. That way he doesn't get an advantage from my paralysis. I assume that was Fire Tower and not Infinity Burn. There are no tournaments tomorrow, are there?
Well, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.